Hey there everyone, how's it going? Tarun here. Thank you so much for joining this tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to do the styling part. Yes, we are going to write the style.css for this document. So let's begin with it. So first step to do is would be to create a new file. So click on this project walkthrough. I mean, right click on it and click on new file. And we're going to create style.css. Okay. Now what you need to do is you have to link to the uh, index.html telling that hey buddy you have a css file linked to you and please refer it for all the css content so for that what you need to do is just come here inside the head and type link rel equals to rel equals to style sheet href equals to style.css make sure that the style.css is there in the same folder okay it should not be in a different folder in case if it is in different folder you will have to mention the path properly say if say the styles is in css folder okay css folder of the same project folder so you'll be typing css forward slash style.css okay for example if i had another folder here called css and if i had the style.css inside it okay so this is the project structure index.html at the same level you have css folder and inside that you have style.css you would be mentioning link rel equals style sheet href equals to css which is the folder forward slash style.css okay this is how you would link it to test it let's just go inside style.css and type body and let's give it a background color of something dark so that we can recognize when i hit save you see that our website turns into a, a, a very dark, ugly blue. I mean, this is too dark. Okay? Even I'm a fan of blue, but this is too too dark. I'm a fan of uh, Dodger blue, actually. So if you look at this website, it kind of looks beautiful. So yeah, this is how you check if your CSS file is linked with your HTML file. So please check it before you pr pr proceed on typing the styles. Okay, so that is a very good habit to have let's just delete this part we don't want that now what i want you to do is first of all add go to this website and add a few notes okay say that uh, uh, to learn js videos and dom uh, when i create the note you see that there is this li okay let's just add another one get to do ticket notes project so we have two uh, allies here okay let's just inspect it okay and go to the elements and let me let me zoom in okay and what you see here is you have this page stru structure the rendered form of this page so you see this ul tag here okay within that there are two allies so each li is a sticky stick it note so once i click this you see that there is a a a tag in it okay and you have h2 and you have button which is which is to delete the note and you have a paragraph which is nothing but the content so let us have this this template in our code also okay so for that what you need to do is just look at this thing you have li a and h2 a button and p so let's uh, let's type the same thing so going to our ul we're gonna have a li li okay we're gonna have a, a and href it doesn't go anywhere and within that we're gonna have a h2 okay h2 is gonna have like some note okay for now it's just some default value and after h2 we are gonna have a button isn't it so that is gonna be x to delete all right and we're gonna have a paragraph which says the content of the note let's save it let's check the check if we have typed it properly so one thing we missed is button class equals to delete so let's add that save it and let's go to our uh, application that we are building so we have we see that we have this 
kind of a what to say a mock up of our application okay it's, it's like a structure of our app- application it's not a mock up it is a structure of our application so our basic structure is ready now we can start styling so uh, there are almost like 200 lines of uh, css so if i keep typing all of those i would be wasting your time so what i thought was i would copy the css from here and i would walk you through it line by line and also if you have any doubt about the css part also feel free to ask me i also have css css course on udemy also free videos on my youtube channel please feel free to check them out so you see here Uh, what does this asterisk mean is that we are giving it uh, i mean we are telling that apply this style apply these styles to the entire page so we are telling that give it a margin of 0 and padding of 0 okay you can see that some amazing things have happened to our uh, website already because of the styling okay so let's just go here and you have the body okay and we are taking in the font family as arial and sans serif feel free to change it and font size of 100% and margin of 3 em okay em is again it is it is like pixels only but em is a very good way of uh, of mentioning the sizes of elements okay so you have background color which is of this color and you have the color which is white and the heading tag heading id we have here the div of uh, heading what we are going to tell that is we are going to tell the position is sticky which means that even if the user scrolls the heading is going to stick to the top okay so that is the uh, position sticky and stick to the top of zero and we have given it a background color and z index means that uh, what to say z axis okay so higher z index value appears on the top appears in the front so say there are two elements in the same level okay so for example for example say i am scrolling and this note is getting scrolled up and since i told that stick it notes this header is going to be sticky it is going to stay there itself so when this note and this stick it notes uh, meet at one point okay there will be like you will have to decide right which one you have to show on the top if you have to show this note on the top or the stick it notes header on the top so by giving a higher value of z index for this heading you are telling like this heading is important for me and it should be shown in the front that is above the uh, notes okay so that is with z index and we have the padding and margin left by the way if you are developing such kind of website just uh, don't feel discouraged now thinking like uh, how did tarun come up with these values does he magically uh, come up with these values no not at all you come up with, with these values by experimenting see first you would mention the uh, padding like say 10 pixels or say 5 pixels and then you will see that to make it even more beautiful you would need 15 15 pixels so that comes with experience so you uh, you build websites only through trial and error okay and with that with the experience your trial and error uh, the time you need to trial and uh, face errors will become less so that is why uh, i also usually recommend you to work on projects to work on uh, stuff to watch tutorials and to uh, learn a lot okay learn and apply a lot so then we have the no notes which is nothing but uh, we see that no notes available in our website so for that i've given a padding and i've given a text align of center and this is our uh, bai tarun shiv uh, paragraph so i've just given it a color and here you see it is our input text which is our uh, input text box which takes in the title and the content which is here okay for that for which we have given a uh, padding of 10 pixels border radius of 5 pixels border of 2 pixels solid and whatever color and a width of certain percentage and a margin which means uh, the gap between that element and the surrounding elements and outline is none so now what is outline you see that when whenever you click an input box that blue color outline will come around that box okay let me just uh, comment this and show you that and that blue color box is sometimes annoying let me zoom in okay and once i click on it to type can you see that blue color uh, outline here okay but if i enable this thing 
telling like outline is none and if I click on the box that blue color thing doesn't come up okay again this is a handy tip for you when you're building your own websites and dot hidden is display none now when are we using this dot hidden you you would have not observed in the HTML document it is used when I want to hide this uh, no notes found because we don't want it to be shown always right see now we have a note but still why do we need that we don't need it so that time I'll be using the dot hidden and then the dot btn is for the buttons so for the button we are giving it a padding we are giving it border radius border background color color and cursor is the pointer which means that that finger kind of uh, we need that pointer kind of uh, thing to hover over it when we move the mouse over it so again the outline is none yeah 